When I was 16, my father said, you can do anything you want with your life. You just have to be willing to work hard to get it. That's when I decided, when I die, I ought to be remembered for the life I lived, not the money I made. Having established Darkstalkers as a series where monsters fight each other, the developers knew that if they wanted to add a human character, there would be pressure to make sure they did it right. A straight-up martial artist wasn't going to cut it in this series. They figured if this human character had enough going on with them in terms of presentation, they could safely add being just human as one of the traits, without running the risk of a character fading into the background and standing among the series' other local monsters. The character would teach them to either go big or go home. The graphic department initially wanted this character to serve as a rival to John Salvey and be like a werewolf hunter. Instead, the character would take shape through Akira Yasuda in his specific design notes. Every Darkstalkers character up to this point had been inspired by something in fantasy, myth, and horror. When creating this character, however, Yasuda wanted to do something a little more sinister. Rather than basing her off an archetype or a myth, she would be inspired by the frightening qualities of the human race and someone who is motivated by greed or ambition. Her name would be Baby Bonniehead, or Beretta in Japan, as her physical appearance and name are clearly based around the fairy tale character who were Red Riding Hood. But it's also been said she resembles the protagonist from the series Akatsuki Cha Cha. It's possible she was also inspired by the iteration of a fairy tale written by the novelist Roald Dahl, which ends with the character fatally shooting the wolf and making a coat out of him. During development, after her design was finalized, the team couldn't figure out how they should animate her in the game. Yasuda then recorded how he saw BB heads and loops and poses on several sheets of paper and pitched them to the graphic department. His concept for a character fueled by malice while hiding under a mask of naivete would lead to BB Hood.